Hey everyone, Eric here with Sneak again. I recently posted a video about some of the ways you can use the free Sneak Container Vulnerability Scanner to check for and fix security issues in your container images. Check the link in the description below if you missed that. This is a quick follow-up video to show you the brand new Dockerfile monitoring capabilities we've added to the Sneak web platform. In a nutshell, Sneak's GitHub integration now recognizes Docker files and can monitor them for vulnerabilities without you even having to build the image yourself. Now wait a minute, you might say. In your last video, didn't you just spend 10 minutes telling developers they should be building and scanning images as they go? Well, yes. But this feature helps in a different and I think complementary way. Not every team builds a container image in CI on every commit they make. In addition to whatever scanning your team might be doing on their workstations, wouldn't it be nice to also have a way to know what vulnerabilities would exist in the images built from those Docker files sitting in source control without actually having to build them if you didn't want to? Okay, let's take a look at an example. We're gonna use the same Docker file repository from the other video, which as you can see is based on Tomcat 8. And let's jump over to my sneak dashboard and we're gonna click add project. I'm gonna choose GitHub. And here's all my repositories. I'm looking for Docker scan, there it is. So I'm gonna click on Docker scan. And now I'm going to go back, say, say add projects, and then we'll wait for it to scan that. There we go. So it's found the project. And if I open that little disclosure triangle right next to it, you can see it also has got some vulnerability reports already. I'll click on that Docker file. And sure enough, we've got a report, very similar to what we saw in the other video. Here uh, is some of the vulnerabilities. I'm gonna click on more about one of these so we can see some of the detail. And um, just like the other scans that we saw. So we can go through here, we can look at all the different information, we can look at the CVE numbers and all that good stuff. So let's go back to the report. And just like what we saw in the other video, there are alternative base images that are being shown. So we have 115 vulnerabilities in this Tomcat 8, but we could go with one of these other options which have fewer vulnerabilities. And in this case, they have zero, which is always nice. So the really cool part about this is let's say we fixed these and we got it to where there's no vulnerabilities found today. By default, this project will get reassessed daily. And I'll be alerted if any new vulnerabilities come up that are found in this Docker file, even though no changes are happening in source control to trigger anything. Here's an example of an email I got the other day where exactly that happened under one of my other projects. Now, Sneak already had this kind of continuous monitoring for container image registries, as well as source code manifest monitoring for application libraries. Now you can have that same kind of monitoring straight from your Docker file. This feature is available now. Just log into your Sneak account and add your code repositories, just like I did, to get scanning right away. If you don't have a Sneak account, no problem. Creating one is simple and free at sneak.io. Well, thanks for watching this quick hit video. Be sure to click like if you found it useful and subscribe to keep up with everything Sneak is up to. And if you missed the prior video where I show how to scan your images locally and in your pipelines, click here and watch that right now. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one.